Hi, welcome to Life Artists. I'm Barbara Drew Bay, and this is the place to embody your creativity. This week, we're talking about inspiration. And actually, what I want to say is inspiration depends on one thing. It has to do with conversation. Want to know what I'm talking about? Check out this video. All right, life artists, welcome back. We are going to have a conversation of creativity, and what I am calling that conversation is you express desire, and intuition is creativity's response. Now, desire is the supercharger of any of our actions. It's the drive behind our projects. Desire is the motivator of all motivators. The project you wish to bring into the world is undoubtedly connected to something you love, right? or something you want to see come into life. Now this love is what will make it actually happen and what will help you persist when you faced obstacles and disappointments. Now desire is the emotion and motivator of that love. It's the signal that you're expressing loud and clear to the universe, to everyone saying, I want this. Now in today's vlog, we're gonna talk about desire in relationship to life and specifically about the answer to our desires, which I call intuition. Now, intuition is what I call listening for the response of life to your expressed desire. If we want to start a conversation, first we have to start expressing something, right? It's the same with our creativity. If we want to start a conversation about our, our desires, yeah? We have to express that desire and then listen for the response. Intuition and moments of coincidence are, for me, the answers. It's the, I hear you coming back from life. And if we give these moments our attention, they generate connection and excitement, backing up everything that we're doing, backing up our creative power. When we're connected and having a conversation with everything that is, and listening to those hunches, those intuitive moments, and the surprise coincidences, coincidences that move our life, this just feels wonderful. And it gets us very much into creative flow. So first thing I'm gonna say is start a conversation. <laughs> your job is to express your desire. Your desire expressed outwardly is similar to falling in love. You dig that person, that situation, that feeling, and you want it. So what's the first thing that has to happen to get that conversation started? I mean, you have to express your wish. You have to open your mouth. You have to take one step towards that other. And just like life and your creativity, to get it moving and out into the world, it takes expressing your desire. The great thing is the universe is not fickle. Huh? She doesn't play games. She's not involved in her self-image. So she always responds. So the more desire you express, the more desire you start to generate. The more desire is present, the more unstoppable we actually become. Think about the last time that you fell in love. Huh? I mean, no lack of sleep or annoying little setbacks can stop that love groove, right? And we all know it. We go out of our way to meet our lover. We overlook disappointments. We think and feel with our great depth, yeah? We become our best and most open selves. I mean, it feels wonderful and exhilarating. We are inspired and indeed we become unstoppable. The key is when we're full of desire, our attention is flowing outward towards that desire instead of being lost in our doubts and internal world. We're suddenly involved with something much bigger than just us. Outside of ourselves, we are engaged and in a conversation with life. And as a conversation implies, there's actually another force, person, being, that's involved. Now, instead of just talking to ourselves, we give meaning to others and we engage our attention to life and to where love is flowing. Yeah? This is the state of creative flow. When we are active and engaged and participating directly with life. That means speaking our desires 
into life and then listening for the response. Now let me ask you, have you ever fallen in love solely from your head? I mean, just like love, our projects, our dreams, our wishes can't come solely from our minds. The more, <clears throat> the more embodied our ideas are, the more sensual and desire-promoting they'll become. Not just in ourselves, but also for those we're serving. Plus, the more that we engage in our bodies, the more that love drug yeah, starts to flow. That natural state of oxytocin starts getting us flowing and moving. The more we are doing that, the more focused, relaxed, and attentive we become. We move towards what we want, and we let our emotions energize and guide us. Now, these are prime states for creative flow. And I would say the frame for all our creative, effect creative effectiveness. And again, they're physical. They're physical states. The conversation of desire starts with an expression of that desire. And so make it physical. And this will become also your experience. And number two, listen and give attention then to the response. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that when you're in love, it also seems like everyone else is in love with you? It's like as if I'm in love and then suddenly all of life is looking my way. Yeah? When we're in love and full of desire, we're highly communicative, right? We spend hours listening to the smallest hints from our beloved, yeah? what he or she is needing, what they're wanting, and what they expect from us. And we use the smallest of clues to notice, ah, he or she is sending me a love message right now. So why aren't we doing this in our life? in our projects, in our creativity. When we're expressing our desire, we get all kinds of responses. It's just that we often aren't listening. What we call intuition, serendipity, coincidence, all of these things are the response from reality to our desire. They are the signs from reality that you're in flow or not in flow. The thing is, we feel all these touches and love bumps and messages, yeah? Yet if we're not embodied, it's very hard to feel the response of another. Just like being in love from the mind. It's just not very sexy, and it doesn't get us listening. Thing is, we're often stuck in old states of experience, physical states of contraction that we have practiced and held on to and expressed so often that they become our fixed states of expressing and, in turn, experiencing our life in the now. So life is responding with all these flow states saying, yeah, baby, yeah, but we're stuck in all these old fears and contractions and low energetic states. We don't move. We close our centers and our mind and we mind ourselves. And what we end up actually feeling and hearing is not the updated in-time response from life, but an old tape, an old outdated thought and feeling and physical response that says, ah, it's not possible, I'm not enough. And all the messages of, as if no, no. And because we are maintaining this in our physical expression, yeah, our experience becomes this. And you can see how our conversations with the beloved, yeah, can be as if tricky. Now, intu intuition is when life starts answering you directly. We get intuitive nudges and signals that directly respond to our questions and aims. Think about it. It's magical. And it is. The key here is setting our mind and our feelings and our bodies in coherence. Desire is an expression and intuition is a state of listening. Getting into coherence allowing, allows us to experience the flow of that dialogue between your desire and life's response. And it's like a beautiful treasure hunt. We send out a desire, and life or intuition appears to guide us. And if we are listening, intuition is associated with a strong physical and emotional sensation, which fills us with the experience that life is touching us. Our wishes are heard. Insights, dreams, intuition, magical things that suddenly show up. Come on, guys. They didn't suddenly show up. You asked for them. So, if you're thinking about your dialogue between you and creation, make sure you ask really for what you want. If you're asking for 
stress and I'm no good, she's going to say yes. If you're asking for, wow, and I love it, and I want it, and this is what I'm expressing, she's also going to say yes. And then listen for how it's showing up in your life. Both doubt and distraction and all of this, as well as joy and pleasure and, and creative power. It's what you've been expressing as desire. So choose wisely. Start shifting your desire into the state that you're wanting. And then watch for all the surprises, the surprise yes answers of life, intuition. And now we're going to train how to create these states. All right, welcome to our training today where we are really focusing on putting our desire out into the world, starting a conversation with reality, and then listening for reality's response. We're gonna really focus today in our training on our pelvis area and waking up our desire energy, moving it up into the expressive areas of our heart, our throat, and bringing that expression outward, and then dropping that back down into full passive energy. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna just start with a gentle stretch. Bring your hands up above your head. Stretch up. Bring your fist to the back of your low back. Gentle stretch back. Let your mouth open. Roll down, breathing out. Let your low back and spine relax. Breathe in and roll back up. Hmm. Gently roll your pelvis three or four times to one side, three or four times to another side. And then bring your hands. Your hands are facing the side you are swinging. You're keeping your elbows straight and just feeling a nice soft stretch in the upper back where many of us have a lot of tension. Okay, and now take a deep breath and we're gonna start Breathing while opening our eyes, our mouth, and scrunching our face when we breathe out. Now relax. I'm going to take your hands and you're going to put them behind your ears like a little helmet. Thumbs forward. And what we're going to do is your elbows are wide and you're going to breathe out, going down with your head, eyes closed, mouth closed. Breathe in, eyes open, and mouth open. Breathe out, eyes closed. And this is really a stretch for the upper, upper, upper trapezius. And go the other way. The neck. See if you can relax your low back. It's a wonderful stretch. Relax your hands. Mm, feel all this warmth that suddenly came into your head. Now we're going to start to wake up our chest. Mm, breathe in there and really like, ooh, when Tarzan was saying, I want something. Oh. Think about the things that you're desiring, the thing that you really are wanting to bring into the world. Bring it up through this chest. Wake up this area, breathe, and really, ah, and now relax, ooh, more warmth. Ah, take a deep breath in there, deep breath, and now we're going to start from our lower, lower pelvis. When we breathe in, up to our nose, and breathe out.
And this is expanding, 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 expanding. And breathe out. While you're breathing out, bend your knee. your breath guys use your hands as like a helper to bring your breath even more up one more 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 and out oh. great now you're gonna roll down and you're gonna stand on your right leg. Left leg goes in the air, and you're just gonna bend this knee down and up, stretching the back of the leg, and 10 times. Do breathe. Feel that light, wonderful stretch in the back of your leg. Feel this oh, warming up of the knee and of the leg. Bend at the level which feels for your body appropriate. And when you're done, stand, switch legs, and bring your right leg up. And ten. Now the aim of what we're doing here is not exercise, exercise. It's really about feeling that you have a leg, feeling gravity, feeling this, ah, oh, heat and warmth that is going, feeling your breath and your head and neck that are long. Really experiencing your life instead of thinking your life. And now stand, roll up. Ooh, take a deep breath. Ooh, feel this kind of, ooh. Spread your legs wide, feet forward, and go down. And what we're gonna do is we're moving all our pelvis area, find areas, and stretch your tongue in all directions. Ah, really waking up the center of our body, guys, our vagina and low body and our mouth, our throat and our tongues. If you think about desire and expression, they go very much together. One opens the mouth and tongue so that we can speak, we can say, the other's opening our desire. Excellent. And stand up for a minute. Oh, breathe, relax, feel your low body, your tongue and your mouth. Let your, your tongue and your mouth now relax. Spread your legs a little bit wide again. Go low a little bit. And now the sphincters of our body, your anal sphincter and your vaginal sphincter, men, your penis sphincter at the end, you're going to contract them. Yeah, and release them. Now we're gonna do contraction and releasing while making sound. And all you're doing is uh, You're contracting and releasing wherever you want. You're just keeping making sound and you're feeling what it does to our voices. Keep going, keep going, sound. just relax let them breathe and just start gently bouncing but really letting this low body <sighs> relax 
and then shake your legs. your tongue, relax your mouth. Now we're going to do a silence exercise, okay? You're going to bring your hands like you have earphones, okay? Your lower knees and legs are relaxed. And you're going to make a soft something that you're really, really desiring. Breathe in and out, really fully. Let your tongue relax, let your mouth be soft. Oh, expand your breathing. And listen for any, any information that life brings you about this with this state of energy. Just listen. It's like a movement of expressing outward with your heart and breath inward and breathing out and letting that come back to you. Hearing, listening, it's what our bodies are doing in our breathing. We're expressing and active in the in-breath. We're breathing out and digesting and listening in the out-breath. And think about your desire, your wish. And then when you breathe out, become passive, listen. And then just stand with your hand on your heart, breathe softly. And listen again to life's response, breathe in and out. And notice, guys, without starting a conversation, life can't answer us. So start a conversation with your whole being. That means raise up a lot of energy, get your body full of that energy, and then bring it down into these wonderful flow states, which is embodied, full, wide perception and relaxation. And then dare to listen. Dare to let your head and perception be wide and just be thankful and listen to what life is giving you. 
and definitely stay tuned for the rest of this video. We're going to talk about some implementation skills and have an awesome conversation about our listening and coincidence, serendipity within our lives as creators and our we think. So definitely stay tuned. So how do you feel after training? Now feel free to use any part of this physical training whenever you're wishing to clear a state of being that's not serving you. Yeah? Create physical states in your daily life that actually allow an expression of flow that you want. Yeah. And in this case, whenever you want to promote listening or desire states and to create this practically in your being. Yeah, a daily frame creativity training, yeah, as I call it, allows you really to practice creative flow. It allows you to practice these states and we need practice. Yeah? And so practice being and embodying optimal states of creativity and experience what this does in your creative flow. And remember, if we wanna fall in love, we gotta start a conversation. So, declare your desires loud and clear, and then listen to the response of the beloved, what I call life. Practice to embody the states you wish to experience in your thoughts, your feelings, and in your expression. Now, if you wanna dive deeper into this practice, definitely check out the implementation questions below. There are things to get you thinking and trying stuff. Just make sure while you're answering them to stay physical. So, Head on over to Life Artists Community blog, sign in, join our creative community, get involved and share your words, share your truth. Without your voice, yeah, our community doesn't get to hear what's going on. So give something back, talk about it. And if you love what I'm doing, share this with others, comment, contact me and sign up for this page, YouTube page and find me on any of the social media channels, yeah, Facebook and da da da. And if you are serious about up-leveling your creative power, then definitely join me in my live Conscious Creator Workshops. They are such a blast. And it's actually where tons of creators get together and train together. So if you want to get info about that, which definitely I hope you do, uh, sign up for the registration, sign up for the uh, newsletter, and I will send you info about when I'm in your city. And remember, you are the creator, your experience is truly in your hands and thank you so, so much for this day. Bye.